Welcome to 5-Minute Reviews. Today we're looking at the Nikon 20mm f1.8 with reviews editor Hilary Gregonis. So tell us, Hilary, what's innovative about this lens? This is the first um, Nikkor lens to use the um, two autofocus motors in it. Um, it's called the multifocus system. It uh, focuses a little bit faster that way and quieter. Um, since this launch, though, they've also added it to the um, 50 millimeter f1.2. So it's a little bit less innovative than when it first launched. But And ergonomically speaking, you were saying this is pretty large, right? I mean, like, hold it up next to the 51 too. So um, the F mount version of this lens with the same focal length and the same aperture is actually um, at least an inch shorter um, and a little bit lighter. Um, so it is large for a 20 millimeter lens. And, I mean, you've held the Sony version, correct? Mm hmm And the Sony version is smaller as well, too? Yes, it's a little bit lighter and a little bit shorter. Mm hmm So, ergonomically speaking, like, what makes this so much different than others? Uh, I'm assuming since it's the Nikkor Prime that there's, like, you know, a focusing ring and then a control or two on the side? <laughs> one control, not two. <laughs> it's actually very, very simple. Just the, just the focusing ring and just the switch to go from auto to manual focus. Um, they do advertise a custom control ring, but this is the custom control ring. So if you set a custom control, you lose your, your focus. If you want to set this to aperture, you can, but then you have to switch it back in the menu if you want to um, use your manual focus again. Mm. And that's it without the lens hood on, right? Correct. Do you have the lens hood around? Uh, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it then. So talk to us about the build quality. So Nikon lenses are very, very durable. We put them through a lot of really tough rain tests. I'm assuming this is the same, right? Yes. Um, I shot with this in a snowstorm, and I splashed it, and it did fine. It uh, went on unfazed. So uh, it also feels really great in the hands um, from that weather ceiling. gives it a really durable feel. Is it balanced with the Z6 II that you were testing it on? Um, yeah, it might be a, a little bit front heavy because it is um, pretty big for a 20, but it's uh, really not too bad. Um, and in terms of autofocus, uh, what were you shooting with it? I did some landscapes and some environmental portraits. Um, I did portraits, um, the fastest that I did was about a walking pace, and it did um, pretty good for the Z6 II body. Um, only about 14% came back soft. Um, I had a little bit better um, with uh, stationary subjects. Um, <clears throat> the most trouble that I had as far as the focus goes is uh, focusing on a dark silhouette. Um, it had um, a few more shots that were soft than even the moving subjects, but I still had quite a few to keep, so... Now, you think, too, that that's more of a function of the Z6 II than it is the lens, right? Yes. Um, this lens performed better than some of the other um, lenses that I've used on that body. So I do think it was more of the camera body. Okay. So, I mean, as Nikon's autofocus gets a little bit better, that lens will probably also get a little bit better. Plus, it's got mm -hmm. that new motor technology in there, like you were saying. Correct. Yep, and that motor also makes it pretty quiet. Like, if you wanted to shoot a wedding with this or something, like, nobody would hear this focusing. Um, you do All hear right. it very slightly in video. but mm. We have just around a minute left. Talk to us about mm -hmm. image quality. Okay. Um, just like the other Z lenses, this lens is super sharp, um, but not overly sharp. Um, <clears throat> you can get a little bit of bokeh with it, even though it is um, a wide angle. Um, and the bokeh is good. Um, no onion ringing or anything like that. Um, aberrations pretty much in check. I, I did see it just a tiny bit, um, and you can create a little bit of flair if you want to add some character, and color is also great. Okay, and I mean, again, sharpness, like really mm -hmm. good for what you would expect this lens to be? Yes, yeah, so really good at the center, um, very slightly um, less so on the corners, but um, it's great. It's sharp without being too sharp. That's what we like to hear. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Hillary. We appreciate the time.